Next up, we're going to hear from Mark Rabato, who's the head coach at Eastern New Mexico University. Coach Rabato's entering his seventh year, and he has the Greyhounds looking to build off a five and six campaign that included four Lone Star Conference wins. Mark Rabato. Thank you very much, and uh, our thanks go out to Stan and, and your staff for putting on this event. It's been a great event. Every time you've done it, it's getting better and better every year. We appreciate it. And I wholeheartedly agree with everything you said, Stan, except for one exception. Uh, I believe the greatest stadium in the world is in Blackwater Draw, New Mexico. And I'm sure Coach Carthel will agree with me, being an old greyhound himself. Um, it's a great stadium. We love it. And uh, there's been a lot of good football games played out there. And some of you young men have been involved in them. And we expect a lot more great football games being played out there. Uh, before I talk a little bit about the Hounds, I need to introduce our SID, who got me here with uh, time to spare. And we are proud of that. His name's Adam Petterman. And uh, he's, a, he's a very fine SID. And the young man I brought with us is uh, Sal Fuahala. He's from Irving Mack, and uh, he's, a, he's an excellent football player, and he's got a really neat story. I don't know how he might not feel that it's neat. Uh, his, his freshman year, during two-a-days, he was involved in a car accident. He wasn't driving, and, and there was no drinking, and he was the only one buckled up, and he fractured a vertebrae in the bottom of his back. It just sliced it right in two, and for most people, that would have been it. Well, they put Sal in a, it looked like a turtle shell, front and back, and uh, then they put him in a wheelchair, and they said, he can't even, you can't even walk to use the restroom. You have to be in this wheelchair for three, or was it four months, Sal? It was four months. So he had to wheel himself or find somebody to wheel himself around to class, to everything. And he had to stay in that shell for about eight months. And, and, uh, and that, that vertebra healed up. And uh, to have that kind of discipline, to do that when you're a freshman away from home for the first time all the way out there in New Mexico and have this happen to you, to, for him to stick through it and come through it like he did. And he played last year very well, and he's going to play even better this year. We're, we're mighty proud of, of uh, Sal Fuahala, and, and, and that kind of spirit and that kind of young man is what uh, we think the Greyhounds are all about. Uh, we're very excited about this year. Our quarterback is back, um, and he had a full year under his belt now. He's going to be a junior. His name is Wes Wood, and he had a great year last year, and we're really excited to have a, a, a guy with a year under his belt back. We haven't had that for a long time since Mike Benton uh, did that years ago when we were running the triple. So our quarterback is back, and you know how important that position is. We've got a lot of good receivers, a good, good receiver core, and we've got three OLs that are returning, and all of our running backs. So we think our offense is going to be a, a pretty solid outfit. Our defense, we lost a lot of good players. We lost two All-Americans in the, in the secondary and an All-American linebacker. At one point in their career, they were all, uh, all All-Americans. And several other good, good football players. But we have people in the program that have stepped up. We had a good uh, uh, freshman recruiting class and a really good uh, junior college transfer class that's coming in. And, and the defense is uh, a couple years old now. So we feel very good about that situation. We have our kicker and our punter back. So we think we're going to be a pretty formidable outfit. And uh, of course, that's, that's a tall order in this room. A tall order in this room because as we all, as, as every coach is going to say, because they're, they're good coaches. And everyone is going to say how, how, how difficult it is in the LSC. And they're right. There, there's no days off. There's no plays off in the LSC, no matter where you're playing or who you're playing. And uh, the reason is because of some of the young men, some of the athletes in this room, and, and the coaches. There are fantastic coaches in this room. They're some of the best in the country. I've been in this conference a long, long time, and I've known these guys a long time. And some of them were coordinators when I was a coordinator. So I, I, we, we've, we've locked horns a long time. Coach, Coach Thompson and I have been going against each other, I think, 100 years. And he's been running power 100 years the same way. And it always works. It always works. You know what's coming, and you put your whole team, we're going to put 11 guys right there, and they still get yards. And, and Coach Carthel, what he's done with, with, Midwest, uh, with West Texas, what Coach Maskell's done with Midwestern, it's just uh, what Coach Atterbury did, you know. I mean, these are great coaches, great coaches. Coach Santiago keeps telling us he doesn't have seniors. Well, we played them two years ago when they didn't have any seniors. They're tough as a boot. Uh, this is a great conference. We're proud as heck to be involved in it. We're proud as heck to be the only non-Texas team in it. 
we're very proud of that. And the trophy has been over in Portales once or twice. And uh, we're, 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 our aim is to get it out there again, is to get it out there again. We, we hope to have a great season. We think we're going to have a great season. We wish best of luck to everybody uh, involved in the LSC South and uh, the LSC now. And, and it's going to be some great football. Good luck to all of you.